All right, 9.45 right now. Going to take a check at weather with Abby and Cody. What are we looking at today? Soaking rain? What? Yeah, soaking rain. You know what's so great about this, China, is we're just kind of mixing up the atmosphere a little bit. We had such stagnant air over the last seven, eight days. Improving air qualities. We get that very familiar moraine push on going today. Some drenching rain on tap for later on this afternoon. And mountain snow could really be a problem, especially tonight and tomorrow. Breezy, locally windy today. Gusts upwards of 30 to 40 miles per hour. Morning showers tomorrow, a drier afternoon for your Monday. And then the possibility for an early rain snow mix for some of the lowlands Tuesday. I know that always gets people's attention. For the most part, I'm not expecting this to be a big deal. If there are any accumulations, which are unlikely and isolated to begin with, it would be very minor and melting off pretty quickly. So that's the big picture, everybody. What we're watching out there right now, some light rain along I-90. Stevens Pass, you're seeing some of that too. Surrounding North Bend in the grain, that's where there could be some slick spots. Light showers happening there. Tahuya, good morning. Port Orchard, Gig Harbor, you're seeing some very light showers along the Kitsap today. Nia Bay, steadier rain is falling right now. And the heavier stuff just passing, passing through Crescent and Port Angeles right now. Our weather maker today is this cold front. It's really going to help to scour out any of the pollutants that have been trapped in our atmosphere over the last seven, eight days. It is going to be gusty and rainy. Behind this cold front, we'll have our classic convergence zone happening. So this is a westerly flow. You got the split airflow around the Olympics. When that air meets together, it has a little bit of oomph and energy in the atmosphere. And we know all too well that zones like this can dump very heavy lowland rain and foothill and mountain snow. And that's exactly what we're going to be seeing overnight. Leading up to this main event, we've got some chilly temps over the passes, but not nearly as cold as what we've seen over the last couple of days. We're at 31, Stevens. Traction tires advised there, along with Snoqualmie Pass. Wet and bare roads right now for White Pass looking good. As we take a look into the next couple of days, whether you're a skier, a snowboarder, or a pass traveler, I know that this matters. Snow happening tonight. By tomorrow morning and early afternoon, there could be 5 to 15 inches of snow for the passes. And by the way, it's going to be gusty during this time frame as well. So you picture the blowing sideways snow that can really lower visibility. On Tuesday, mostly dry, but I can't rule out some very light snow showers from time to time. Right back down here in the lower elevations, let's focus up on the bright colors here on Futurecast along the coast. Very heavy rain. Here comes the cold front for the I-5 corridor. Some of the heaviest rain as we go into the middle of the afternoon. Kitsap South Sound, that marches all the way through the I-5 corridor, pushing east of that area by 630. Look at the bright colors on this map. Very juicy rain over the foothills and significant mountain snow later on tonight as that cold front moves on through. We are expecting a rain snow mix for some of the lowlands early Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, for the most part, not expecting any impacts. We're drying things out on Thursday, though we will be sticking with cloudy skies. More scattered showers on the way on Saturday, Friday, I should say. And just in time for next weekend, we could start to dry things out once again. I'm timing out those leftover showers for your Monday coming up next. China, back to you.